Just a couple of hundred meters from here and the Islamic State of Iraq and the Levant is in charge, for now. This latest surge of refugees is escaping an assault by Syrian Kurdish fighters, the YPG, on a border town under ISIL control. Airstrikes from the US-led coalition have helped the YPG push forward. We lost our home 10 days ago. Fierce fighting forced us to leave to save our children. Before that, life was OK. We were terrorised by ISIL. We left because of the heavy bombardment from all sides. But I'll never go back. In there, you die a hundred times a day. The YPG has had Tal Abiyad in its sights for three weeks. ISIL has controlled it for 14 months. But townspeople escaping the fighting say it's now deserted. YPG commanders say just a few ISIL fighters are left inside. And the YPG now controls the only road to Raqqa, which is ISIL's effective capital about 80 kilometers away. This is the fourth time that Turkey has opened this border between Tal Abiyad and Akçakale. Most of these people have been waiting at least 24 hours to get through. They're carrying everything they can manage. For the most part, they look relieved to have made it through. They'll now be processed by the Turkish authorities and allowed into Turkey. This woman hurt herself as she scrambled over razor wire to make it over the border. Newly homeless, She'll join the more than 1.7 million Syrians already sheltered in Turkey. Safe, but stranded as their country crumbles. Bernard Smith, Al Jazeera, on the Turkey-Syria border.